Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Apalare Jose, the fourth year uh, medical student in the English module, and this is a poster about a review about uh, chronic cerebral hyperperfusion rat modules. Uh, chronic cerebral hyperperfusion was link is uh, linked to a lot of uh, neurodegenerative uh, diseases uh, due to the microvascular changes that happen to the neurons uh, uh, according to the chronic cerebral hyperperfusion. And because it's a very important uh, phenomenon, uh, animal modules had to be created in order to mimic that sort of uh, event, in order to discover uh, how it works and it, its uh, effects uh, later on. Uh, here we have five different uh, rat models. Now we start with a unilateral coming from the artery inclusion, in which a uh, the uh, is made of the upper central neck area of the rat after administering anesthesia. And we have, for example, we chose a, a common carotid artery, and that artery would be uh, ligated for 15 minutes. And uh, that would include a partial local ischemia that would be treated after 72 hours. In the rat, that module uh, is not very uh, efficient. Uh, due to the, the anatomical uh, structure of the circle of Lewis and the, the lateral uh, blood supply, while in mice on the other hand, we found that that sort of uh, approach uh, actually increased the tau vascularization levels in the neurons. And uh, on the other hand, there's no new regeneration found in the neurons or the hippocampus. On the other hand, the inclusion model, the part that's affected by that kind of uh, procedure is the hippocampus, particularly the CA1 uh, area. Uh, a two vessel occlusion rat module can be done by uh, we have exposing both common carotid artery, they have to be separated from the vagus nerves in order to uh, avoid any uh, lesions uh, in the nerve. And uh, that kind of approach uh, was found to um, affect the uh, duration in the brain. That's the second left. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the conclusion? Which so, is the best model? So, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so what I'm working on is the three vessel occlusion. Uh, uh, there are many factors that affect uh, the way you choose which model to work with. For example, we have uh, the interstage interval, which is this, um, the time between the, the cauterization of the vertebrals and the ligation of the carotid artery is very crucial because it will affect the, the neural ap apoptosis. The, the shorter it is, the more apoptosis you will get. Another thing is the stress uh, induced in the rat uh, throughout the surgical procedure itself is very, it's also very important. In the model, for example, the three vessel occlusion was first introduced in 1994, and then was modified later to find to um, the procedure went from 45 minutes to seven minutes, and that actually yielded better results throughout the the test uh, that was performed using the three vessel occlusion module. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, if you have any questions, this is your best model. This is the. Yeah, this is the model that um, I am working on research and this is the one that I'm using three uh, uh, vessel ischemia. Uh, what we're doing is that we're cauterizing both vertebrals and getting the inter uh, so that uh, we do I perform a 90 minute uh, ischemia in order to observe the differences in the EEG between the hemisphere, the epsilateral hemisphere with the deleted carotid and the other one. <coughs> Yeah. Okay. How long is the rat? The rat. It's a 90 minute uh, scheme. Okay. And how long? Usually, uh, now we're in the phase that I uh, just record the EEG for the moment and then we'll keep the rat till they recover. And uh, the next step uh, will be to perform behavioral testing. Yes, yeah. we need a lot of the initial phase. Thank you. So this is it. 
I thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, click here to subscribe in order to be notified when new medical video tutorials are uploaded and to check the older videos of medical tutorials and also high school tutorials. See you next time.